Poker is a game quite similar to life. Sometimes you get a chance that you can't pass up. Come on, But, just as in life, we sometimes experience unavoidable failures. You think the pot is already yours, but it turns out you can't win this one, no matter how strong your hand is. In poker, we call such hands coolers. In other words, a cooler is a very strong hand that's all but impossible to fold with, and that eventually brings you to a grand victory or a great loss. In this video, we'll show you a real example of a cooler, help you distinguish it from a bad beat, and explain what to do if you fall into this tricky situation. The simplest example of a cooler is playing with a pair of kings against a pair of aces in the preflop. A pair of aces is the only preflop hand beating a pair of kings. The probability of your opponent getting these cards is less than 0.5%. So calling all in with two kings seems like the right choice in the long run. But it might be more complicated than that. Remember, poker is a dynamic game, and the situation can change three times before you see your opponent's cards. For example, let's look at the hand between James Clark and Frederick Anderson at the final table in Millions UK 2020. Frederick has been flatting. Frederick calls James's bet with a pair of nines in position, hoping to get a three of a kind, but he's unlikely betting on his opponent having a pair of aces. On the flop, Anderson gets three of a kind, while James, confident in his fearsome pocket cards, is unconcerned with the community cards and bets slightly more than half the pot. After thinking a moment, Frederick simply calls. The turn deals an ace, and Frederick rightfully thinks it will help him win this hand since his opponent's range includes aces. If he has ace-jack, then all the better. James bets one-third of the pot. He chooses his bet carefully because he doesn't know the opponent also has three of a kind. Frederick thinks for quite a while. There are only six possible opponent's hands he should worry about. They're either pairs of jacks or aces in various suits. At the same time, his hand is stronger than an ace, no matter the kicker, a flush draw, and loads of other hands. So he decides to go all in, which James, who has the nut hand, calls immediately. You hear the eruption on the rail. If James Clark can dodge a nine, he will double up. So sick indeed. Just one out for Frederick to bust James. It's a queen on the river. In this hand, the cooler situation had formed only by the turn. Of note, the leader changed twice in this game. What do you think? Did Frederick make the best possible choices? Or could he have minimized his loss? Tell us what you think in the comments. Be sure not to confuse a cooler with a bad beat. While they're very similar, there's one very important difference. Let's go back to that example of a pair of aces against a pair of kings. We already know that this is a cooler situation, and the winning chances for a pair of kings are 19%. It doesn't seem really promising, but it's possible to win even in this situation with an initially weaker hand. For example, by catching a king on the table. So it's called a bad beat for the initially stronger hand. The movie Molly's Game shows an excellent example of a bad beat. Let's watch. There's a punch coming that would put Harlan on the floor for good. Harlan was heads up against a guy named Frederick who was Austrian royalty. Go. Oh. Harlan had pocket queens. His Excellency had ace king. They were both in 65K preflop. Flops queen 7-7. Seven, seven. Harlan has a full house again, queens full of sevens, with three rounds of betting in front of him. The count has nothing. All in. And the count goes all in. He wants Harlan to think he's got two more sevens under there. Call. Nope, says Harlan. He's not falling for this again, and he snap calls all in. 
There's $750,000 on the table. Diego burns a card and deals a turn. A king. Otto von Bismarck now has two pair, kings and sevens. The two pair is nothing next to a full house. And at this point, the only hand left that can beat a queen full house is a king full house. Captain Von Trapp right. left two pair and rivered into King's full. If you either win or lose in such a situation, however, don't let your emotions overwhelm you. Try not to overestimate your skill and keep playing with a cool head. Uh, Control your emotions. This clock. is one of the most important aspects of the game. Quite often, players find themselves on tilt, which keeps them from making smart decisions. Tilt is the loss of control over the game by a player due to their labile psychological state. Both a large loss and a great win can result in tilt. So, it can be triggered by positive emotions just as well as by negative ones. However, it always leads to the same outcome, losing big. Avoiding a loss in a cooler situation is almost impossible, so it's important to remember a few key points. 1. Before anything else, analyze the situation to make sure that it wasn't an error on your part, but a cooler. 2. If it was, in fact, a cooler, then try to forget that hand as soon as possible and move on. 3. Play more cautiously for a while right after a cooler. Don't play any controversial hands. 4. Coolers are unavoidable. View them simply as an inescapable part of the game. Yeah! Oh, man. Have you ever lost due to a cooler? Or maybe you've run down someone with a much stronger hand. Share your experience in the comments and tell us about the craziest hands you've ever played. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of the new videos coming soon.